Welcome to another edition of the RCW Internet Show as we take a look back at the April 2nd RCW Super Show. And here you see former RCW Tag Team Champions at Texas hitting the big guy skips so they're ready for action. And there you see the ever popular Black Belt Jones, Jojo Bravo, the Karate Kids. And they were also ready for this triple threat tag team match. Then came Jingle Wallaby with his man, Honky Kong. And surprisingly, Kong's tag team partner turned out to be the vile war day along with co-commissioner Ray the Voice. That is a lot of humanity on one side of the ring. And Jojo Bravo was not intimidated at the start, despite the size difference. Jojo using his intellect, trying to trick Kong, but no, it didn't work. Jojo trying any measure with Kong. utilizing the help of his tag team partner. But Kong just shoving him down. He comes charging across and it goes flying out of the ring as the credit gets attempted to dive up. No, Big Dog puts him down. And then, my goodness, Big Dog launched Jojo almost out to the second row. Big Dog thought he was the big guy in the ring, but then he came face to face with Morte. And these two big men started slugging it out in the middle of the ring. But neither man moved. Followed up with a vicious clothesline. A blind tag allowed Schizo to enter the ring. And Forte avalanches Schizo in the corner. A sidewalk slam. But Morte didn't realize that Jojo Bravo had tagged out and he comes flying into the ring. And look at this brilliant double team maneuvers by the Karate Kids almost scoring the victory. The chemistry of Jojo Bravo and Black Belt Jones is amazing. Big Dog once again breaking up a pin attack. And the hitman isolated Jojo Bravo. Cutting the ring in half. And punishing the karate kid. What a backdrop! And somehow Jojo stayed in the fight, but again the hitman cutting the ring in half. And look at the pain etched on Jojo's face, being choked and being punished by the former RCW Tag Team Champions. The hitman wants to reclaim those titles. But the fighting Jojo Bravo, he will not give up. Schizo then trying to wear down Jojo, but he gets back up to a vertical base. Schizo with the kip up. But Black Boat Jones off the top square buckle. And almost scoring the three count. The Karate Kids were in there with Honky Kong. But no! Big Dog! My God, what a spear! What a drop kick to the face! 
But then JoJo was cut down by Schizo. My God! Forte just tossed Black Belt through the roof. Big Dog and Forte fought to the outside. Schizo on the top turnbuckle. Honky Kong picks him up for the airplane spin. But accidentally, he, he hit Morte. And Morte showing his true colors on the simple Honky Kong. And look at Ray, the voice of Morte, choking the life out of Kong. Jingle Wallaby trying to interfere. It's a body slam for his troubles and Morte and Ray Boyce literally choking the life and the big Honky Kong. Can you believe this? The despicable Ray of Boyce and Morte say what you want about them. Monkey around on his own business. Come here to win championships or get the hell out of RCW. Damn monkey and his underground, whatever he's from. Jackass. Can you believe that? But I tell you what, Ray of Boyce has got an awesome man of Morte. Leaving Khan high and dry. Here he's then left to the karate kids and hit him in the ring. Perhaps they will get a tag title shot coming soon. Wow, what a match. Roy the Voice, Morte, how dare you put your hands on me? And most importantly, how dare you put your hands on my precious Honky Kong? He didn't do anything to deserve the beating, the vicious hanging that you gave him. Come May 7th, we're going to get paid out. And you're going to learn that good old Jim Lord Wardy can get in a rock with the best of them. So come May 7th, we're going to make sure that we get the payback that we deserve. And you'll never, ever put your hands on this great endangered species again. Karate Kids, you may have won the match tonight, but the Texas Hitmen won the Midget Tossing Contest. You can ask Jojo Bravo about that. And Black Belt Jones, Black Belt Jabroni is more like it. And next time we're in the ring together, you're gonna be Kung Fu fighting for your life. Cause I never liked you. I didn't like you when you was Wheezy Woo. I didn't like you in the HNIC. And that's why I kicked you out of my group because you couldn't hang. How many times do we gotta play toss the midget with these fools? We beat them down every show and they keep coming back. Sometimes they win a few. We don't care anymore. We want a tag team title shot. Tonight, Jojo, we finally did it. We finally got the one, two, three. And now, it's time for us to show that we are the best tag team in RCW. So Texas Hitman, everybody, we got it tonight. It's ours. Yes. Our night. And guess what? Soon, we will become the RCW tag team champions very soon, brother. Right? Yes. It's was Kung Fu Victory. If you didn't recognize... As I've said once before, I'm the reason the future of RCW, and I'm also the reason this man is the future heavyweight champion. They put us in a match with a blonde-headed, 
black guy. Willow Smith with her hair back and forth from Karate Kids and a damn monkey. This isn't no monkey business. This is professional wrestling. And the monkey, just like his boy from down under, got exactly what they deserve. Go play in a tree somewhere else, you damn monkey. And stay out of the way of the future RCW heavyweight champion. Tell him again, champ.